something you alluded to earlier, which I think is, is fascinating and something I have you know, some personal experience of as well through you. Tell us how, how, this, how you work with people's longings, because I think you mentioned this mm. earlier, which, which I think is, is fascinating stuff yeah. from an energetic. Just, just tell us briefly how that works. Well, the, the way that I work with longing is that everybody has an innate intention for their lives, right. expressed in different ways. And when uh, you sit quietly, it's possible to connect with that. And um, that longing, that desire, sits often at a level which is beyond thought, mm. beyond emotion. Mm. Mm. So it's outside and not influenced mm. by thought patterns. I mean, it is once you really begin thinking about it. But it's a fundamental desire. It's something that really draws one forward mm. into one's future. Mm -hmm. And um, it's also a, a, a very pure form of intention. Mm. It's a pure form of intention which you can align your body in such a way that your energy field vibrates in alignment and the whole system comes oh, into alignment. Okay, yeah. You're both grounded connected to your spiritual, um, some might say um, incarnation or um, foundation point or identity point, mm. it has different forms, mm. but it's the point in which you came into the world mm. and it connects you, you, through your body, that spiritual intention, through your body, physical body, and it, it, you are as a body what connects earth and spirit, Right. and your fundamental purpose or um, longing as it expresses, it is expressed through the body's mm, journey mm. in the world. Mm. And what happens as soon as we are born, is we get influenced by our parents, we get influenced by our environment, we get influenced by all these things yeah. which are, uh, impact on our belief systems, which take that energy and send it in completely the other direction than we actually intend, right. there was actually yeah. the intention yeah. uh, away from the pure intention. So you help people get back on track, basically. So what I saying? like supporting people yeah. to do is to come back to get in contact mm. with that pure intention, well. with, with alignment in the physical body, it, to enable them to manifest that right. in the world. Yeah. To re and what shows up is what happened uh, is the beliefs that show up as to why they shouldn't have it, mm. how they sabotage themselves, mm. how their parents did whatever to them when they were young, which means they don't deserve it, yeah. or they're not good enough. And all of these things show up on the road to clearing them out the way so that that is a clear channel. Wow. Wow. And in doing that, in clearing the road, is, am I understanding you correctly that what you do then is you deal with the blockages in the energy field? Yes. Is, that's basically it. We work, I work with the system as a whole. Yeah. So that block may be a belief. Yeah. It may be um, something in the physical body that needs energy blocked sitting in a particular way in the physical body. Right. Um, it may be um, that somebody isn't grounded. Somebody doesn't really know what grounding really feels like. What does it feel like to be really grounded? Um, and it's, it, it, it depends. It might be an emotion that is particularly debilitating. It may be sadness, it may be fear. Um, it may be a thought pattern which is particularly ingrained. But when you bounce clarity, all of which is limiting that, that person in terms of absolutely. what they really want. Because you can say that yeah. you want to go in this direction. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, there's. I remember seeing a picture uh, of a. It's a vector model. If you have want to go in this direction, you have all this energy pulling in this direction. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to go in this way or in this way? No, you're going to go somewhere in between. Yeah. And it's not in alignment with your longing. It's a little bit alignment in your longing, but it's closer maybe to this direction, which right. is self-sabotage. Right, right. So um, what the work is, is about um, really identifying what are those pieces mm. uh, that are in, or they're in the way. Mm. Mm. And it's great to identify the pieces in the way, but the real work mm. is about connecting mm. with your longing, connecting with your attention, oh, yeah. connecting with your alignment, and connecting with your essence, mm. and bringing all, mm. all of them in together mm. to support you moving forward. Mm. And um, because that is a great tool for manifestation. Mm -hmm. I think often with the work and literature that's out there, 
is that we um, we get told we could create anything we want. So I sit here and I try and create every month what I want. Where is it? <laughs> you know, you know, we yes. expect instant solutions, instant coming, uh, instant yeah. instant uh, responses. And yeah. It's like where is it? Yeah. You know, I'm intending yeah. it. Um, um, yeah. Where is it? Yes. I've been through that. <laughs> yeah, and and, it, yeah. and it's like okay, I'm going to give up. Mm. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, there are all these reasons, and you can list all the reasons why sure, sure. I haven't got, why sure. I can't do it, and why sure. it hasn't shown up. And the reality is, it's that that's the problem. Mm -hmm. And the truth is mm -hmm. that when we realize that that's the problem, and we recognize that that's the problem, mm -hmm. all, what, what it's about is aligning with the, coming back to self, mm -hmm. aligning with the self, mm -hmm. trusting mm -hmm. that we can really manifest. Yeah. That we can really create. We're coming and, back to and the learning. Essence of who we are. Yes, and yeah. and, it, and it may be a journey. I mean, mm. space and time. I mean, there's been a lot of literature on on, on the reality of, of what reality really is. Yeah. And it may not be occupying the same space and time that is right now. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. That may be a reality. It may yeah. be down the street. Yeah. Or it yeah. may be around the corner and you yeah. can't see it. Yeah. But how do you actually attune yourself to an extent whereby you can listen to it calling? Yeah, to you, yeah, 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 yeah. such that Beautiful. you can you can actually move into the same space mm. and time. If you're continually thinking it's never going to happen, then mm. that's the space and time mm. you're going to, and it's never going to show up mm. in that space and time. But if you're if you can trust that you that it's actually there for you and yeah. it's created and re and there for you, just to move into alignment with it, mm. then as long as you stay in alignment, you move forward in alignment, then you're going to meet it on the path. It's an Fantastic. I love the way you articulate that as well. It's wonderful. I can sense that you're really in your passion when you talk about that. And can I just want to add something as well, that um, actually Rob and I have been working to some extent, and I hope I'm not sort of, you know, giving the game away here, to some extent on my own personal longings. And it's been, I think, certainly one of the most um, empowering things for me you know, to, to work with this from an energy perspective. So, mm. you know, I mean, if the, if any of you watching this are, are really interested in this, then, then 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 Rob does have this, you know, I think you do have this, if, if I can put it sort of as neutrally as possible, this great ability to bring this, no, seriously, mm. to, 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 to make that connection. And I think to also, um, how would I express it, to, you know, to, to bring out, you know, what's really going on um, behind the scenes, if you like, in the energy field or however you'd like to express yeah. it. So that, you know, what's really blocking me from, you know, achieving my dreams if I am in that situation. Mm. And I think that is, that is hugely valuable.